Let's attack this set. This is a far simpler set. Lovely set. So, the figure above shows the schedule of four employees, Abani, Bhani, Dhani and Tini, whom Dhoni supervised in 2020. Altogether, there were five projects which started and concluded in 2020, which were in which they were involved. For each of these projects and for each employee, the starting day was the beginning of a month and concluding day was the end of a month. And these are indicated by the left and right end points of the corresponding horizontal bar. Okay. So this is Jan and Feb, this is Feb and March, Feb and March, Feb, March, April, and so on. The number within each bar indicates the percentage of assigned work completed by the employee for that project as assessed by Dhoni. So Dhoni says Dhani did 90% of the work in those three months. Tini did 100% of the work in those three months. Abani did 100% of the work in those two months in project three and so on. Abani is red, Bhani is green, Tini is yellow, and what is it? Dhani. Dhani is black. They all started and worked in different times in uh, and, and, and had, had different project months. So Abani has worked in project one, project three and project four. Tini has worked in one, two, four, five. Each of them has worked in different projects, have come, worked for different timelines and have completed different percentage of the task allotted to them. A brilliant chart that captures everything. For each employee, his or her total project month is the sum of the number of months he she worked across the five projects, which is nice to add everything up. While its annual completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage attained from different projects, with the weights being the corresponding number of months he she worked in these projects. They work for four months and percentage completion is 80%, four weightage of 80% and then you simplify. For each project, the total employee month is the sum of the number of months of four employees worked in this project. Well, its completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage assigned for the employees who worked in this project. Nice. So, number of months total is the employee months. And then completion index is take a weighted average of percentage completed. With the weights being the corresponding number of months they worked. Lovely. Which of the following statements is are true? One second. Project month and each for each employee there is a project for, there's a project month angle and an employee month angle both ways. Which of the following statements is are true? The total project month was the same for the four employees. The total employee month was the same for the five project. Project month for each employees for Abani it is two. 4 plus 5 9 Abani is 9 months Bhani is 2 plus 3 sorry not 3 this is 4 1 2 3 4 plus 3 2 plus 4 plus 3 again 9 Tini is 2 2 3 2 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 again 9 I am hopeful now Dani is 3 3 2, 1, again 9, lovely. So the total employee project month was the same for the four employees. All four employees work for nine project months each. The total employee month was the same for the five projects. This is employee month is 6 for project 1. This is 3 plus 2, only 5 for project 2. 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9 for project 3. Straight away that doesn't work. Statement 1 holds good, 2 doesn't hold good. We are through. Nice, simple. Which employees did not work in multiple projects for any of the months in 2020? Abani worked in Feb, March, May, June, and then starts here, July onwards. So not Abani. Bhani, so uh, did not work. So Abani did not work. We should be counting Abani. Bhani, no overlap here. No overlap here. Yes. Tini, no overlap here. There is an overlap here, so Tini shouldn't be get shouldn't get counted. Dani, no overlap here, no overlap here, no overlap here. So Abhani, Bani, and Dani. A B D. Okay. The project duration measured in terms of the number of months is the time during which at least one employee worked in the project. Which of the following pairs of project had the same duration? This is project duration is three months. One, two, three. This again is three months. 1, 2, 3, end to end. This goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 months. 
this one 1 2 3 4 5 again 5 months project 5 1 2 3 4 4 months so 1 and 2 had the same duration 3 and 4 had the same duration they are looking for 1 and 2 or they are looking for 3 and 4 3 and 4 sitting here you know. the list of employees in decreasing order of annual completion indexes okay decreasing order completion index 2 into 100%, 2 into 100%, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 into 80%. 5 into 80 is 400, 4 into 100 is 400, 400 plus 400, 800 by 9. So, Abani is 800 by 9. Each of them did for 9 months. That is super useful. You should remember that. So, Bhani, 2 into 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 into 75, 4 into 75 is 300, 200 plus 300, 500, 500 plus 270. That is Bhani is 770 by 9. 270, 300, 200, 500, 770. Dhani, Dhani, let's count Dhani. 90 into 3, 270. 100 into 3, 100 into 200 into 1, 100 into 6. 600 plus 270. Oh, that's a rock star performance. 870 by 9. Dhani should be first. 90, 100, 100, 100. And then Tini, 80, 100, 100, 100. So, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 2, 7, 700 plus 160. So, this is 860 by 9. 870 by 9 and 860 by 9. So, Dhani, Tinni, Abani, Bani. D-T-A-B. Yep, D-T-A-B. Done. Beautiful.